Alrighty guys, um, welcome back. So, um, yeah, so this one's definitely, um, so this one's going to be a schedule one, so it's going to be one of those ones that's going to come on the, um, certain days regardless. So, how I'm thinking guys, Sunday is going to be my stream day, Monday is going to be my, um, probably like collection, um, game talking thing, something like around those lines. Um, Tuesday will be my TCG again, so, I'm not too sure about Wednesday. It's probably just going to be a um uh for a normal pod for what's going on in the last few days, and basically I repeat those days until we hit Sunday, which is a stream, and and we repeat. So that's the plan, guys. So today let's get started. I bought these games, guys. You're going to see why I bought them. Because the dirt cheap cost me a whole eight bucks. So I thought I'd buy them. I bought them at EB Games out of all places. So yeah, it's kind of cool, guys. Um, so what's that? This honor. And this is the one I want to play at some point, and that is Wolfenstein. Um, I don't know why it's got these big giant stickers on it. I mean, the front that's okay because it's just a price tag. At the back, it's got this funny looking sticker, but yeah. Um, next will be, oh god, okay, this is not a legitimate one, guys, I couldn't get the, case, the one for the, um, case, but this is another pre-owned one, and it's a more generic one for EB Games, so this is what EB Games puts as a case when they don't have a game case. So this is a game, Sunset Overdrive, now, I don't even remember what, if that's that game, I think it is. Yep, it is. So that's this game, guys, the funny one that I think they just released on the PlayStation 5 not too long ago. So I've never played this game. I've been told good things about it. Um, I did try to play it when, when it originally came out. But because of the, uh, I didn't have the Xbox Series X at the time, I couldn't play it that well. Either way, um, and the last one I don't think I can play at all because I'm pretty sure it's a live service one. And that is Titan 4. So um, let me know, guys. I'm pretty sure I can't play um, single player on this. I don't think there is a single player one. I think it's not, like, like I said. A live service game. Uh, let me know. So out of all of those games, guys, I can only really play three of them. Yeah, three I can play. And I may even consider playing them. So these are the three I'm more interested in. Uh-huh. So these three guys are going to be the one I'm going to have fun with. But... Uh, all together, guys, to go all four. So all for the Xbox One X, as you can probably see. Or secondly, I think it'll put the Xbox One. I'm not sure that if it's specifically for the X, but all of them say Xbox One. So yeah, that's it, guys. We'll get all four of them. Now I have not played any of these, so I got no nothing about it. I know mean, Sunset Overdrive, as I mentioned, I did try to play, but the system was just too pathetic at the time. The computer, and I didn't have an Xbox One, um, Series X. Sorry. Um, uh, Wolfenstein. Now this one's gonna be an interesting one because I already know what this is about. Um, uh, and this honor, I heard good things about, but I never played it. So, hey, I just thought I would talk about these three, four games. Um. Hopefully the next the next video guys will be me going for my inventory, so I'm gonna be adding these onto my little shelf. Um yeah, that's it guys. I know these sh these videos are really, really, really short. So the plan of these videos is to basically go through these type of things. What I would like to do in the future is um well, this is coming in a few weeks, not now, so um as you know I'm gonna go through these. So games are pretty quick and easy to deal with because of the um well these ones for example are because there's no history. Um, things like when I get some, um, like, I do unboxings and shit, that's going to be a, um, very on this time frame. So, no, actually, let me think. What's I going to know? I think that was going to be um, out of the blue. So, yeah. Unboxing could be out of the blue depending on the outbox, um, the unboxing. So, if it's something like, I know, um, controllers, earphones, things like that, yeah, I'll be doing them out of the blue. If it's an unboxing or a game, like a collector game or something like that, I'll be doing on here. And that will include um, TCG ones for that pump slot. And, yeah, basically gaming-related game type of stuff. So, 
that's the plan in the future, guys. Um, this green screen at the back is really good, guys. Um, the only issue is it doesn't carry the whole camera because it's so far away, and the chair is not in the best condition. But it does a good job, guys. I enjoy it. I like it. I should definitely um get a bigger one at some point. But this was only like seventy dollars. I bought it for seventy bucks. The green screen cost me seventy dollars. Um, the one I want to get is like two hundred and fifty, but it's more of a um. It's one of those ones you can fold up and down, so I can cover the whole spec for me. And once I do that, it'll, this one will probably get put somewhere, or maybe I'll give it to one of my uh, mates or something. They might want a green screen. But yeah, um, I just wanted to talk about those games, guys. Um, I've definitely got a bit going on here. There is a few things I want to start talking about, though, before we finish up. So, I'll actually show you what I'm going to be talking about, guys, and what I want to get in the future. All right, guys. Um, yeah, so I'm going through the cameras because I do want to get a better webcam than mine. Um, the webcam I got is, is a pretty damn good. Um, I can probably set them up a bit better. Um, I don't think they're a big issue. The thing I really need to get, guys, is a, a light ring, I think they're called, a ring light, whatever it's called. There it is, light ring. Um, how much are these generally? Just having a quick look at them, okay. Oh, they're not super expensive, they're pricey-ish. But for my one, I'll probably need a decent size because remember guys, I've got two webcams. I've got one for the um, the normal horizontal and one for the vertical. Um, so I'm going to look for one that's decent, um, one I can put it behind my computer screen, which is pretty much all of them. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it's basically all of them. Um, they're not too expensive, so like anywhere between, I'd say about 40 bucks to $100. There is one here I'm looking right for. It's an expensive one, it's $100, but its size is what's going to matter to me, guys. It's a it's a big light. It should be more than enough to bright up the um, lights behind the um, webcam and all that and make it much brighter. Well, it's an 18-inch bright light, so I'm hoping that'll be more than enough what we need to do. Unfortunately, the problem I'm saying is it's for, basically for a camera, so a normal one. I need a generic one. Oh, here we go. I've got another one that's about the same size. A white one, but it's for normal cam it's for webcams and shit. So, yeah, this one's probably a better one. Anyway, guys, what I'm going to do is, um, it does have a, oh, it has an adapter, so you can put phones behind it. That's good news, at least. But you don't need to have the phone behind it, so I'll be grateful for any webcams, guys. I notice webcams are not necessarily the best, but they're the worst. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I just want to make sure this camera is running at its best. Yep, the C922 Pro webcam, um, screen cam. Um, yeah, anyway, guys, um, yeah, that's the plan, guys. So I want to get that in the future. Hopefully that will fix up my, um, my funny color issue. Cause I like sometimes, because it's dark, sometimes it stuffs up my, um, the recognizing for certain uh, filters for it and it stuffs it up in the future, guys. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get this sorted out. Cheers.